Hey guys, JVAC here. Today I'm going to try and repair an old VHS tape. Now, the problem with this tape is, I'll just push this little button on the side here, is that it has no tape to read. The tape is in there, but it can't read anything. So, we're going to take this apart and put it back together. So we got one screw here, two screws, three screws, four screws, and five. All with a Phillips head screwdriver. Oh, and one down the middle here. That's six. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll unscrew them and then we'll come back. Okay, I tried using this big screwdriver on these guys, but they wouldn't budge. So I'm gonna try the smaller one. There we go. That's a big one. Hopefully all these screws are the same size. Absolutely, they all must come out for this to work. Oh, it's hard to hold on to. These things are screwed in very tight, as they need to be, because otherwise the tape might not work properly if they weren't screwed in as tight as they are. Alright. This part gets a little tricky. Oh, maybe not. Close the window for a bit so that we get less noise here. Alright. Let's get a good look at what everything is here. These things lock it into place. If I pull on this, I should be able to take her out. This is the part that I'm going to have a bit of a trick with. Pull this out. Safely as I can. I don't want to damage either side. Just going to put this safely over here, get it out of the way. I don't want any springs broken or anything. Get this one out of the way too. Don't want to damage anything there. Alright, now it gets a little tricky. I'm going to have to pop this guy out without breaking any of the plastic.
The reason I'm popping this out is so that, and then the really tr tricky part, oh, there it goes right there. Yeah. And so this part can uh, properly hold the tape, this stuff, back into place. Okay. Just got to think of how I'm going to do this for a second. Might end up using scotch tape if I can find any. I got her out safely without breaking any plastic. Basically what I did was, instead of sticking it in the hole part here, I stuck it underneath there with the flathead screwdriver, which is what I should have done in the first place. Instead of, yeah, instead of sticking in that open hole and breaking this, I should have tried nudging it even further underneath there and then just poof. But yeah, it popped out nicely. So now I have to take what my ginger ale here and anything else that might get in the way. Take this roll of film, put it in there, and let it overlap a bit. And then stick this back in there somehow. Sorry. Trying to extend it a little bit out further because it looked like it was at the end of it and I don't want the end of it I just want. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of sticking out there. That's what I want. Stick it back in the way it was too. Let's see, at least <laughs> I can tell which end I broke it with. So that'll tell me which way to go back in there. Oof. If I get my fingers too much in there, I'll end up breaking the plastic. I don't want to do that. By the way, it really hurts the fingers. I don't feel safe doing that. Stubborn, that's for sure. Okay, let's try one last thing. Let's hold her in place and let's. Tricky little bugger, isn't he? Ooh, I got her back into place. All right.
Now, let's put her back together. Let's. this and we're going to my apologies what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and roll it through this flap here I might have to bring it out and do it here Okay, that slid through. Let's Let's. Ah, I gotta. Sorry, I gotta make sure I don't flatten the film on the way here in here. Keep it even. Bring this little flap back. Lock it in place. Get this other one. I'm hoping that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> I got it on the outside here and on the inside there in between that little plastic flap there All right, let's take the lid put it back on Carefully flip it over and put the screws back in. That's tight. I've heard stories that if you don't have it absolutely tight, I think I've already said this before. Then it won't work properly, the tape. And I'm uh, just hoping that I had put it through the right way. Down the middle here. Hopefully in the future I can find a easier method to do this than using my fingers and hurting myself. I'll go test this tape out and see if it plays. He's on. Just a little side note. I could have used scotch tape rather than that little plastic piece. But, but, but when it comes to rewinding this thing or fast forwarding it, when it gets to the beginning of the tape, I want to make sure it's absolutely secure and not going to rip apart just with the scotch tape. And then you get scotch tape stuck in your VCR and I don't want any of that. It's playing. All right, the tape works. So, thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button if you like what you see and tune in next time for more great content. Okay, thanks, bye.